It's going very uh, okay-ish, I'd say. You look at the first three games, you'd expect to get uh, three points out of it. It's exactly what we did. It wasn't the way, obviously, that we thought we'd get it, but uh, yeah, it was. Points wise, we're exactly where we thought we would be. Um, the first two games, obviously, were an absolute nightmare. Uh, seeing 10 goals isn't the best thing you can do, but the performance against Tottenham shows that you know we can you know, perform well and we can score, we can compete. So I think going forward, we'll be good. We haven't had the greatest of starts, but we, could, uh, we haven't scored much goals for the likes of. Um, Sunderland, Chelsea and Blackpool. Blackpool just had four chances and scored four goals. And Chelsea, we battered him in the first half, we just never scored. It's picking up slowly, a uh, slow start against Blackpool and obviously Chelsea. Two unac well, one un unacceptable result, but Tottenham performance was pleasing. You know, it shows that we're going in the right direction, the club can progress. Well, but some games, like for example, Sunderland, the finishing hasn't been great, and we should have been three 0 up by half time. But same against Blackburn, really. But against Tottenham, we've, we've played a good defensive role, and Joe Hart's been really good so far. After two games, obviously, we're getting relegated, aren't we? Uh, you get the Tottenham score, and it's totally turned on its head. So we're automatically going to be safe. But... It, I don't know if it's a surprise or not because over the last couple of seasons we've always done better against the better teams, whereas uh, you know the lower teams are the ones that we've never been able to break down. So you know, although Martinez is trying to get uh, you know a good system going here, it's not good against the lower teams. Against the better teams, it's, it's brilliant. And today against Man City, the great for us, we can get more time on the ball, like Tottenham give us. Um, Chelsea. I mean, 4-0 really flattered, uh, sorry, 6-0 really flattered them, but um, Blackpool, yeah, we deserved everything we got. <laughs> I think he, he, he does, does well, but he, he, try, he, he sometimes beats the top teams, but he's getting beat to the likes of Blackpool. It's had a tough start, and it's a big step from the Championship to the Premiership. Um, but, he, you know, he's making that step slowly. You know, he said it's a three-year building plan and this is obviously year two. So hopefully this time next year we'll be looking, you know, play three, one, three kind of thing. So, fingers crossed. As an Italian, he's obviously going to be very defensive in away games. But he has been because we've got in a way because we've got like good attacking um, full backs coming up to help with play and that sort of adjusts the midfields to four three three to four five. Alcaraz is looking good. You know, he's a new signing. He, he he commands the the, uh, the, the centre half position really really well. He's uh, he's a really really good signer. Um, and Zogby is always going to play a part, and especially now he's got his head right, he'll, uh, he'll, you know, he'll be in the mix. But what he wants to see is the likes of Di Santo and, uh, and Baselli really you know, stamping the mark and uh, you know, scoring some goals. Hugo Rodriguez has been playing well. Ali Alabsi has been playing well for us, seems though we stepped in. And Franco Di Santo started well against Sunderland. I'm impressed with Franco Di Santo, I know he's only played 20 minutes so far. Um, but it's, it's going back to the old, you know, the old players, I'm impressed with Boyce, Diani, uh, James McCarthy, he's been cracking for us. Adam Johnson, he's been very quick and he's been a lot sharper with his crossing. Because uh, obviously the strike forces are firing, then you'd probably have to look at, I don't know, maybe Drogba or maybe even Torres, you know, one of those sort of players, someone who really, really can bang the goals in. But saying that, you know, You've got to give the Santo and Vasselli a chance, haven't you? But uh, if I had to have any player, I really do like uh, Torres when he's fit. I'd take Fabregas just for, uh, you know, he can control a game, change a game. Uh, you know, he's still young, he'd fit into the style of play that we want to play, and he could bring so much more to the club. But I wish. It would be another midfielder, but more attacking wise, but also a good defensive player like SCN. 
this season, probably Blackpool. You know, I, I, I like Northwest teams doing well. So, uh, you know, if Blackpool survive, fantastic. I'd definitely say West Ham. I'd say Bolton, which is a funny one, but that's due to the fact of our great rivalry and, you know, it's our local derby at the end of the day. We can because it's a good game to go to away and it's easy to get to. Um, well, actually, my mate, best friend, supports him. And they're like a very close town team and they're not like all coming from foreign places.